Hello there, welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaurs. Um, I really need to get a backlog going. <laughs> oh dear, I'm falling behind, but it's alright. The backlog was supposed to cover when I'm doing overtime and um, also when the desk is arriving. I'm pretty sure it covers the desk arriving. I'm not sure about the overtime. I'll have to do some maths. I think it does, to be fair, but just about. So I'll have to record next set off and get some stuff done, I think. Anyway, a lot has taken place. I will show you the fruits of the labor once I finish it, because right now it is unfinished. And this is a prime time for me to see something asymmetrical. And I would lose my top. It doesn't look to be asymmetrical currently, which inspires me with confidence <laughs> that I, though make mistakes, don't make too many in that regard. I um, had to redo um, the other side. I'm not trying to spoil too much, you know? Oh, no. Ugh. No. I just got up here. I'm going to go to creative. And I'm going to trade. And this is an awful trade. Chisel sandstone. I'm losing a whole stack. Um, and I'm taking two stacks of sandstone. I think this is fair. I don't cheat usually. But I, I'm, I'm done. I, <laughs> I can't be bothered. Uh, it's been a day already. And then that. Ugh. Right. Let's hippity hoppity down and do this side. I'm pretty sure the those yeah, they should this should cover it. This should cover it, I think. Right. I really want to do something with this like large square pillar design that we've got going on, but oh dear. Forgot about that part. Can't forget about it if I just build at the top. Oh, I forgot about that part. <laughs> quickly get you and you oh you muppet there we go i don't know why but muppet's like a traditional british insult yeah it's talking about the freaking muppets so i don't know why because then that's not an insult I, I if i think if i was a muppet i'd be i i mean kermit's a bit whiny so kermit <laughs> Right, that'll do. That will do for now. Um, that will be the second level. I don't think we're going to have a third level. We'll have um, rooms effectively for the... As well as small exhibits, I think, uh, through the centre. That would be pretty cool. Um, but rooms for the different exhibits and the different things. So it will be not so much a museum, because that's the museum. That's got all the different, like, horticultural stuff inside and archaeological stuff. But it's going to need something. Now, let's show you from the right angle, which is dead on but offset slightly so okay are we all ready for the grand reveal of how it looks right now i might need to make some adjustments but oh yeah oh it's coming together i need something on these walls i need something on those walls i'm absolutely certain of it something to just pull in some attention to the sides as well but I am muy happy. Let's have a look at the other side. Actually, we'll have a look on this side here and then on the back. Um, you don't need to look on the other side as well, but we'll show you this as well. Because as you can see, I've done a small redesign around that and I've just put a block down so it just connects it effectively, um, which makes me happy. So that's grand. Let's have a look on this side because obviously our villagers over here are getting a lovely view of this. I do like the fact that it's obscured slightly from this side. I wouldn't mind making it slightly overgrown. Maybe some trees and stuff. That would be beautiful, actually. I kind of like that idea. Like it's obscured. You know, like Jurassic... Um, the In Jurassic World, the original Jurassic Park uh, Visitor Center. Something like that. That would be a great little vibe to have. Um, as you can see, I wanted to um, do quick maths. So I had to place a block down. Um, I didn't do it on this side for some stupid reason. But hey... Um, that's probably why I didn't get any sort of like 
any other measurements correctly so I, basically i got the i had to redo this because it was overhanging um, when i redid this and i was like why, why are you overhanging i don't understand also i um switched out the reinforced glass because i ran out and i really didn't want to have to go get some rain um quartz so i could um sacrifice it speaking of sacrifices tell me it's only done on that side that i've made that goober it is okay cool i'll go fix it while i'm while i remember <laughs> uh, come on give it to me damn it all right okay well we lost three blocks for the price of two. Oh goody uh there's a block here i need to get my torches out there you are goodbye don't know how that happened because we weren't going down too fast to be honest but hey oh right now i've got to get rid of this um this little there <laughs> that will give me some of my normal sandstone back which is nice um that we did trade in i think for a reasonable price um actually i think it was literally just as is basically um so you know uh it's all good you know uh let me think did i give myself two or three stacks i think i gave myself two stacks and so maybe not if i give myself three that is i believe as it is in terms of how much you'd get from trading the other part of it but hey also, I don't know how we're doing this, but not like that. Cool. So, there we go. Right, yeah. Keep it a line all the way around up to the end point there. So, I'm probably going to do something with that. I know that we've got this massive room down here. Um, that I need to still empty out. I just wanted to get the base, you know, just get it sorted effectively. But there will be um, some viewing stuff down here as well um i want to make sure that um there will be like corridors and stuff that the staff can use and in there they'll have like small things in the lab equipment and stuff um but there will be exhibits down there just because i've realized how much how, how little real estate we've really got in here to be quite frank because uh, we do have to build a staircase somewhere and to be honest i don't know where <laughs> Because I was thinking, oh, I could do them on either, like, over here, like, do, like, a spiral staircase on each side, you know, and then I can have a solid ground, maybe, rather than, like, an overhang like we did before, and the solid ground will effectively just give us so much more real estate um, doing it that way. Because um, originally I thought about, like, doing a staircase, like, here, didn't I? Like, if I show you quickly, uh, have I got any stairs on me? Any type will do. Here we go, great. I was thinking of a staircase like this, basically. Um, so it was here and to be honest that was going to be my plan I thought yeah that would be a great idea Corey what a brilliant idea <sighs> until I realised I was going to hit that <laughs> nobody wants to see that so yeah that, that was the idea that I shot down pretty much immediately the secondary immediate um shutdown was okay well what if we do something like this well between the things right you know and you can just got that or whatever and go all the way up all the way up all the way up whatever um so let's have a quick look at that see how that looks just so i can show you like my thought process that i've already been through by the way um but i thought it was only fair you get to see my suffering so yes and then it was like okay and then we'll get to uh next up so here and then here so let's have a look boop and boop boop and boop uh, oh oh we're at a thing what if i just made it flat here you know like obviously i could go back further but then i'm going over this side as well or i could just make it one side which would be just this side but then it's kind of cutting off the middle ground as well you get the point there's there's no real real estate in terms of where i could build this damn freaking ta um staircase so unless i build an external staircase which gives me very medieval tavern vibes which is not the vibe we're currently trying to hit i got rid of that block and i didn't mean to um so instead we're pretty much settling for staircase <laughs> And just like a windy staircase that leads you up and there's solid ground and then um so effectively the actual floor needs to be so where are we 
like here you see this line because then you're on the same level of the window as you are above where you're looking thing so you're looking over you know a small you know it's about hip height i would say onwards also that glow is lovely just love it when it just like just eclipses towards the dusk or just past the dust i should say dusk but we're gonna set it to daytime because i want to be able to see what i'm doing um so we do have that <sighs> to be quite frank i'm not looking forward to the floor in here either it's not sandstone it's 100 percent not going to be sandstone um i still need to actually figure out how we're going to do the entrance as well so there's genuinely so much i've still got to do figure out entrance um figure out flooring figure out downstairs figure out upstairs figure out roof figure out enclosures slash exhibits do i cheat the system and just use i'm looking for the spider again i'm looking for the spider um so i got rid of i had a spider i think it was last week week before small spider relatively small but it was faster than freaking lightning and i'm not kidding it was like zoom um however yesterday i found another spider i know it's not the first spider because unless that spider got into a significant amount of growth hormone it is not the same spider um because you see the, the second spider was still quite fast definitely not as fast as the first still quite fast um and he was sleeping uh right next to my headphones um and he was big or bigger i know that people's interpretation of big is they're probably thinking oh my god he had a tarantula on his desk i am in the uk of course i did not have a tarantula on my desk and if it was a tarantula uh, i'm gonna get into this this is one of the weirdest phobia caveats i can discuss right this is really weird and people have told me it's weird i know it's weird i don't know why i just know it's weird I am not scared of tarantulas. In fact, I like them. I think they're awesome, right? Okay, now, take a pause there. You might be wondering to yourself, well, but that that's a, that's a spider. How are you... How are you... How are you not as scared? And why are you scared of small... I'll explain the next part, because I know that's exactly what people are thinking. So, I've held tarantulas... I've interacted with tarantulas, no concern. Um, to be honest, I had a dream when I was younger um, that there was a giant talking tarantula called Harry in my bathtub. And he was chill. And I... <laughs> I was about to say I swear with that. I poop you not. There we go. Um, ever since, I've not been scared of them. Isn't that funny? Now... This also applies for thicker spiders. So like a garden spider, not as scared. I'm still quite scared, not as scared. This is where the weirdness gets in. Will gladly, gladly hold a tarantula. Would not want to hold a freaking um, uh, daddy long legs over here. So we call them daddy long legs. I don't know what you guys call them in America or anywhere else in the world. I think they're called crane spiders. I don't know. They're very, th I'm talking like, hair thin legs and i do mean hair thin legs and like a tiny indescript brown body if you look up uk daddy long leg spider you'll find it so that i cannot handle i'm just thinking and i've just given myself a shudder house spiders once again uh they're quite small they are gangly now i've come to the conclusion i hate gangly spiders camel spiders wolf spiders um you know smaller arachnids i'm sure i'd hate the black widow although it's not gangly so i don't actually know although i wouldn't obviously hold it so now you can see the problem that i have because i'm in a country where tarantulas do not exist hey onimbus no they don't and i'm not too f fussed i mean i probably would get a jump out of me if i closed my bathroom door and it was there on the door i probably would accelerate my bowel movements a little bit quicker but I wouldn't be like, ah, you know, I wouldn't just stand there screaming at it and getting ready to just bash it with a frying pan. I'd be like, ah, all right, I should probably get you out of here and pick it up. Unless it gets threatened and shoots hairs at me, which is a genuine thing. So probably put a bowl over it, put some, you know, a plate over the bowl and then just let it out. Side. That would be chill. But a house spider in the UK or a daddy long legs, I cannot, I, I can't do anything. We used to have a spider catcher, right? And there was a house spider. Let's say, ooh, about on, in a corner, Nimbus, no. 
Sorry, just a second. Nimbus was trying to climb on the desk, and I have a lot of precarious things right now. Um, anyway, so it was right here, and my partner had got a spider catcher and was saying, you know, catch it, catch it. And I was doing this. Imagine this is the spider catcher. <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally plucked up the courage to state, My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. <laughs> my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. And I just do that back and forth. And I'm kidding you not, like 10 minutes before I finally just, just did it and got it caught in there and just let it outside. It, I, <laughs> I think that's good enough context just to how arachnophobic I am. I'm irrationally arachnophobic. I know that there are people out there that have this really smart gene called common sense, right? They know they're arachnophobic, so what they do is they don't look for spiders. I know I'm just on a chatting thing now, but I'm kind of done with this build for a, probably an episode or a few, or maybe even just take a week off, to be honest. I've, I've still got a backlog, and I can just record some other content, which I'm thinking of doing, and come back to it. That's normal for me. Um, so that's fine. But yes, so other people are like, you know, if I don't look for it, it ain't there, or I'll enter a room and I'll turn the lights on, make noise, then open my eyes and stuff like that. And I got that, I got that lesson from Sark, and I use that lesson in the garage but then i i last about half a second trying it and then I, i'm too scared and i open my eyes so it doesn't it doesn't work for me because i can't do that what i have to do is i enter a room i look at all of the corners if i'm getting in my bed i pull up the entire duvet and shake it look under the duvet look at the sheets make sure there's nothing on the sheets check underneath the pillow shake the pillows all of this thing which is pretty much guaranteeing me a possibility of seeing a freaking spider. I don't like the amount of squids in here. Because the amount of squids in here suggest that they're not being murdered by Liapluridons, which means the Liapluridons have died. No, nope, nope, there's one. Okay. Are you both over this side? There's one. There should be two. I'd like to know how the second died if it did die, because I didn't get any message, or I probably did, but wasn't paying attention. There's one still. Where's the bloody second one? Oh, no! Charlie 73 or 4... Um, I'm going to say 73 for ease of access. I think it might have been some of these vines. Can they, like, hurt you? Can you get stuck in them? No? Maybe starvation? There shouldn't be uh, there shouldn't be a block with overhang that's causing an issue other than the bridge but the bridge is quite simple right there's one definitely only one there i'm so confused there should be no suffocation but there is however this and if it got pulled into this riptide and just started phasing through that it would have died in there We cry, we remember, and we never, ever forget. Let it be remembered that I need to get another liar blurred on in here. For Charlie 73 has perished. Oh sevens in chat, oh sevens in chat. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a hot diggity second. Just gonna check something. <laughs> no, come on, let me go faster. What if, what if Char Charlie seventy three didn't perish? Bear with me on this, gentlemen, ladies, and non-binary pals, guys, gals, non-binary pals. There we go, it works better. Bear with me, because what if, what if Charlie seventy three didn't die, but merely freed themselves now it would be easy to track because it wouldn't have gotten far because i've walled off pretty much everywhere so we're gonna have a quick look oh that is a nightmare because if he did break out then he probably would have died there or maybe even down there if i had to take a guess i'm going to say charlie 73 died however 
It would be an injustice to Charlie 73 if we did not at least try to find him. You know, they say a ship lost at sea is lost at sea unless it's found. And and Charlie, Charlie's the same. You know, Spartans never die. Then we're only missing an action. Well, Lyre Pluridon in this case, not a Spartan. But you get the point. Yeah, no, Charlie's dead. <laughs> Again. There's the Mosasaurus. I can't wait until all of these mods update onto the same version. I must stress that because I know they're all updating to different versions. Which is way too much fan of because uh, that means I have to stay on 1.12.2 because I want to keep all three of the mods. Um, and I have built with literally all three of them. So I would be corrupting my world without any of them. So thanks for that. <laughs> now I have to play 1.12.2, aka Booty Cheeks Minecraft, pretty much forever. <sighs> which means I can never get like good optimization, which came in later versions. I can't get good texture packs that have been updated past the past versions and the old haven't been archived. Thanks. <sighs> right, I think this is a good enough for this episode. <laughs> A lot of chatting, a little bit of work, and a lot of moping. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you smash the like button down below. If you haven't already really subscribed, request for games, I super duper appreciate it. My name is Rico, you can come with me. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day, and ta-ra!